Hi church, I'm Cami and I'm part of the YA team. Recently we have been doing a series called Balmy Bible Stories and this week we will be focusing on Cain and Abel. The key verse for this week is Genesis 4, 1 to 16 and today I'd like to focus on Genesis 4, 6 to 7 and it reads, Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Church, I'd like to speak to you about doing the right thing. The story of Cain and Abel, it's an interesting one. They are the world's first brothers. They are different in many ways and they're similar in some. The one worked with cattle and the one worked the land. Um, we don't know much about their relationship, upbringing, or life, but we do know that they knew God and that they had a relationship with him. They may have walked and talked to him like they would their father, Adam. And we know that God loved them and he loved spending time with them. What we see from scripture is that they both, they both brought an offering. Abel's offering was the fat portion of the firstborn of his flock. He gave the best and the first, and God was pleased with this, and it showed Abel's love and his honor um, in the fact that he didn't hold back from God. He did the right thing. On the other hand, though, the Bible says that Cain brought some fruits of the soil, and we get the picture that this was a measly um, handful and nothing really special. It lacked love, and it lacked honor, and it wasn't the right thing. God wasn't angry though, he, he just knew that it wasn't right. He talks to Cain and he, and he says to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. God, in his love, had come to Cain in his pain and tried to direct him down the right path. All he had to do was the right thing, since if not, anger and frustration would grow within him and it would produce something. God's heart is that we do the right thing. He knows that throughout our lives, we will make mistakes, we will make the wrong decisions, we will make the wrong choices, and we will say the wrong things. He knows that sin is crouching at the door, wanting to have us, but he has given us the power to rule over it. Over these next four days, we will look at the power that God has given us to do the right thing. I hope you have a great day today, church. Bye.